to well, hello to my music class. I really have missed seeing you guys, especially as we come into this uh, last part of the school year when we were going to be uh, learning classical music and uh, listening to classical music, watching a couple of very uh, good videos on the life of George Frederick Condell and also on George Gershwin. And uh, I hope that you'll take some time to listen to some classical music. I've got a fairly large packet of information for you. There's not as much work as there is reading because that's going to help you uh, in your project, which is going to be a uh, composer that you're going to select and uh, you're going to write a 500 word essay on and the materials I've enclosed will help you to pick that composer and get some information then you can get online or get uh, books, whatever you need to help you with the other things. Uh, I'm sending you um, a sheet that has some terms that you need to know. On the back of that sheet you'll do an exercise and I will grade that. Uh, then we also have um, some other um, review sheets for you and some matching that you're going to do when we get into the uh, other periods of classical music. You have four basic uh, periods. You have the Baroque period that went from 1600 to 1750. You have the classical period from 1750 to 1820. You have the Romantic period which has numbers and numbers of composers from 1820 to 1900. From 1900 forward we have the modern era and uh, I've got a number of pages in here for you to read. It will not take long that will help you in preparing for that. Now, um, the uh, matching that you have to do is mark on the pages. And um, it will tell you to do the matching, not to worry about the other things. There's two sets of matching in this uh, packet for you to do along with the uh, fill in the blank on the terms and then the project and that'll help us to uh, sort of have an overall idea that you've kind of grasped what's been uh, going on. I do hope that you'll look at these composers and maybe look up their most well-known song and see if you recognize it when you hear it because uh, a lot of this music we still hear in our uh, commercials and our movies still today. Um, back when Eastern Airlines was still in existence, they used George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue as the background music for their commercials, and uh, there are a number of others that are used, and I hear um, fairly regularly there was an Italian uh, spaghetti sauce that used uh, uh, Brahms' Hungarian Dance Number no. 5 in their uh, music for their commercial, and there are many, many others. So. Take time to do that. It wouldn't take but just a few minutes and go through just maybe 10 or so of the composers that you seem maybe interested in and pick their favorite song and go listen to it uh, on the internet and I think you'll be surprised how much of the music that you actually recognize. Again, this is a pretty thick packet as you can see, but most of it is for your benefit to read. But there are two sections of matching that I want you to uh, do. Uh, and um, along with those uh, terms that we've worked on and uh, marked out for you. If you have any questions about anything that we're doing in music, you can email me through My School Works, and I'll be happy to get back with you and answer any questions that you have. Some of you have done that, so I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, I'm really disappointed we did not get to make our trip to uh, Ridgewood and uh, to the radio station and so that's a uh, first in a long time we haven't been able to do that um, maybe next year we can make it up to you somehow but i really miss seeing you guys and i really look forward to uh, hopefully getting back to regular school come fall of this year uh, i hope that you have a good uh, summer work hard on these last few assignments and do your best and I'll try to get out into the uh, line at least a wave at you as you're picking up some of your stuff, okay? Well, have a good day. Thanks.